Without the rhetoric, we wouldn't have been here. I really believe that, you know, we'd sanctions and all of the things that you would do. But I think without the rhetoric, you know, other administrations, I don't want to get specific on that, but they had a, a policy of silence. Sometimes I felt foolish doing it, but we had no choice. That summit in Singapore was full of mutual reassurances, but as Murad Ghazdi of reports, North Korea should look to the example of other countries who've placed trust in U.S. presidents in the past. What's not to like? A new nuclear disarmament deal, potentially one less country with nukes. We're all better off, all of us. And we have this truly historic moment on film. Getting a good picture, everybody, so we look nice and handsome and thin. Beautiful. So why does Kim Jong Jr. seem so suspicious? Could be anything. Poison, assassins, or Trump just waiting to backstab him. The United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. Come to think of it, America's nuclear deals seem to last exactly as long as the incumbent president. Take the Iranian deal. Barack Obama, his partners, worked on it for years. So much work, so much effort just for Trump to tear it all up. Don't forget, Obama negotiated the Iran deal. One of the worst, disastrous, dumbest deals ever negotiated. Except, don't feel sorry for Obama just yet. George Bush, his predecessor, also struck a nuclear disarmament deal with Gaddafi. The two leaders discussed that this agreement should help to bring a painful chapter in the history between our two countries closer to closure. It worked. Gaddafi gave up his nukes. And what does Obama do? Well, he goes and bombs Gaddafi's army, ultimately allowing the rebels to gruesomely murder him. We came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> it's almost like something out of Game of Thrones, and we aren't even done. Bush, in turn, screwed over Bill Clinton. To stop and roll back North Korea's potentially deadly nuclear program, we'll continue to implement the agreement we have reached with that nation. It's smart, it's tough. Clinton had worked for years to make a deal with Kim Jong-un's father to prevent then North Korea from making a nuclear weapon. And Bush tore it up, as seems to be tradition. North Korea is a regime arming with missiles and weapons of mass destruction while starving its citizens. States like these and their terrorist allies constitute an axis of evil. Trump is one for tradition. In fact, he has a habit of tearing up documents, memos, papers when he's done with them. He had a bunch of guys at the White House whose job it was to piece back together the papers he shouldn't have torn up. We literally had to spend hours per day mm -hmm. piecing together the puzzle prior to taping. And here we are, generations of presidents, generations of betrayal, double-crossing and deception. And it seems that hasn't been lost on Kim.